Hello everyone, I'm going to be talking today for Chat Physics Live 2021 on what I've taken to calling the FIFA system. And this uh, can help students gain more marks in GCSE physics or GCSE combined science uh, physics calculations. My name is Gethin Jones. I blog and tweet as at E equals MC squared and all that. But let's dive in and talk about FIFA. So why I think we shouldn't use formula triangles. Number one, they're a replacement for algebra rather than a scaffold for algebra. In other words, it doesn't help students improve their algebra skills. And very often it prevents them uh, from doing really well if they wish to pursue uh, a STEM subject at um, A level. Second thing, they are arguably more cognitively demanding than other methods. So not only do students have to recall the relevant equation and what each symbol means, and hold it in working memory, they have to recall the layout of the symbols as well, and either write the formula triangle down or hold it in working memory. So for example, if we're doing V equals IR, then you have to remember that, say, V and R are the known values and that I is the unknown value and apply the formula triangle. So formula triangles are not quite as simple as many teachers think they are. They don't help students, at least in my opinion. So um, what is FIFA? Well, it's a mnemonic intended to help students approach calculations in a more productive way than they would without it. I find, in my experience, it's very helpful for students who struggle with algebra, and especially for those who have to reach for calculation marks and it's AQA GCSE mark scheme friendly. Students gain marks, for example, if they substitute values in, into an equation correctly. The FIFA system encourages every student to do this step in a way that is more likely for them to gain marks. And it aims to minimize the cognitive load on students as they work on calculations. So um, the mnemonic stands for formula, insert values, fine tune. Uh, fine tune is a little bit of rearranging, but some other things as well. We'll look at an example of what I, uh, what I mean by fine tune in a moment. And finally, the answer. So let's look at an example. So we're applying the FIFA um, system to this. So the first step is to write the equation down. Second step is to insert the values. And I find it useful especially when you're training students to handle equations for the first time, to put a placeholder on the board just so um, they understand where the values are coming from and why we're using them. So we know that the uh, energy is 4,000, um, sorry, uh, 472,500 joules, and we don't know what M is, but we do know that the speed is 30. So next we come to the fine tune. So the fine tune is what we have to do to get to the final answer. In this case, the first step I've taken in the fine tune stage is I've worked out what 30 squared is. The next step is I've simplified um, it by working out what 0 0.5 times 900 is. And finally, of cross multiplied. And the strange thing is students find it easier to cross multiply using numbers. Students who wouldn't even attempt to cross multiply or um, simplify an algebraic equation are much happier um, solving it using numbers, strangely enough. And we get an answer of 1050. So, um, because this question doesn't give the unit, we have to remember to put the unit in. And if we were, did that, we would get five marks. But importantly, if we went part of the way, for example, uh, writing the equation down and substituting the values incorrectly, we could pick up two out of five marks. So, long calculation questions. 
Now, um, the old extended answer questions, which featured um, prose writing skills, at least two out of three of them in most papers have been uh, replaced by long calculation questions. So many of these can be approached using a variation of the FIFA technique I call the old FIFA 1-2. Now, it's not quite as dramatic as Batman puts it, but what I'd like to do is have a quick look at an example. So, long calculation question. You split it in two. You call the two halves FIFA 1 and FIFA 2, hence FIFA 1-2. So, we put in the formula, and this is one that students have to recall from memory. We put in the numbers. Now, notice that one of the values is in kilowatts. So, part of our fine-tuning process is changing the kilowatts into watts. And if you do this explicitly and model it explicitly, you increase the chance that students are going to do this. So for FIFA part one, we get this answer. So the next step is we're going to use this equation, which actually students don't have to recall because it's on the GCSE formula sheet. Um, and we're going to substitute the values in. Um, this value for the energy comes from this part, of course. M is what we're trying to find. All the rest we can um, uh, assess from the questions. So we go through a process similar to the one that we did before, and we get that the answer, uh, final answer, the mass is 0 0.12 kilograms. OK, why is FIFA good? Well, it's worth a try because it's a stepwise and bite-sized approach that helps students. Uh, in my experience, it motivates most students since they start getting positive feedback for partially correct answers. And that's much more motivating than a, a, a depressing zero um, example. OK, I'll just close with um, uh, a quote from um, my ex-principal. Um, and she said, physics results have never been better. And I would put that down, at least to a large extent, to adopting the FIFA system as a department. So I would recommend it, and I hope that you would give it a go. OK, just a few things about me, and uh, I will sign off there. So it's been a pleasure being part of Chat Physics 2021. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I really hope that you give FIFA a go. Thanks very much, everyone.